We know that the Indian components, with all its diversity, is a great model for coexistence, not only in just mere words, but also on the ground. And we appreciate all the efforts and steps taken in this regard. Muslim components in the Indian society, they are proud of their uh, of nationality, that they are Indian national, and they are proud of their constitution. Of course, of course, uh, we reach out with the different components of, and diversity for the common objectives that we share. Uh, we have heard a lot about the Indian wisdom, and we know that uh, the this, uh, Indian wisdom has contributed a lot to humanity. We know that we have a common objective of coexisting peacefully together. We know that here, Coexistence is very important, but we know that around the world it's very important that we also work on uh, um, promoting stability and harmony all over the world. Uh, we know that the Indian components, with all its diversity, is a great model for coexistence, not only in just mere words, but also on the ground. And we appreciate all the efforts and steps taken in this regard. message is loud and clear that we live in harmony, we live in peace if you would like to protect the future of humanity. Excellency, you as an authentic global voice of moderate Islam and a profound scholar adored and respected by millions of people around the world. We in this hall were singularly fortunate to have this opportunity of hearing you. Excellency, your deep understanding of Islam and religions of the world, incessant efforts towards interfaith harmony, courage to persistently lead on the path of reforms is not only contributing to better understanding of Islam and its seminal contribution to humanity, but also preventing extremist and radical ideologies to plague the young minds.